Uh, hundreds of professional pickleball players are in South Charlotte this weekend to determine who is the best of the best new at six. Queen City News reporter Brett Baldeck shows us how the sport has exploded in popularity and how players hope to win the top prize. The Charlotte Indoor Tennis Club hosting a different kind of sport this weekend. Pickleball with the World Pickleball Tour bringing more than 300 players here for the first ever Charlotte Pickleball Classic. Despite the funky name, you won't find any pickles here. Instead, it's a fierce competition. It's just fun. You have a good time, you get a good workout, it's very social. Pickleball uses a paddle and wiffle-like ball with a court set up similar to tennis. The sport first dates back to the 1960s in Seattle. Now, more than 60 years later, it's a hit. The World Pickleball Tour is in its second year, expanding to more than 30 events across the country. At first, only a few dozen players took part. We've almost 10 times that in capacity for this year, and I think next year we'll see ourselves at uh, not just uh, domestic events, but international. But before crossing international borders, the tour planned a first ever tournament here in the Queen City. It's a great town uh, from, a, from a pickleball player. We see a lot of players here in the area in this part of the country, but specifically it's the facility. The Charlotte Indoor Tennis Club got the call to host pickleball, but the owners had to make some changes first, painting new lines on existing tennis courts. We had six indoor tennis courts, and now we have six indoor tennis courts and 12 pickleball courts. A welcome addition for Charlotte Tennis Club owner and fellow pickleball player Meg Hollinsworth. We actually were at the beach and said, hey, this looks interesting. We jumped on a court, played around, and we were, we were hooked. Once the World Pickleball Tour leaves Charlotte, the courts will still be available here at the Charlotte Indoor Tennis Club. And to find out how you can play on Wednesday nights, so we've placed all the information on QCNews.com. For now, reporting from South Charlotte, Brett Baldeck, Queen City News. Oh, it is popular.